hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl coach eve from maryland and i hope you guys are having a very wonderful day it's a sunday a very new week and i'm excited to be here i am not gonna take too much of your time i just wanted to come on here quickly to tell you a little bit about dna immigration i see that a lot of you are looking to tap into this space it's a whole lot of things to digest but let's see if i can help you a little bit here so i'm gonna be discussing with you what an immigration dna test is how you can tap into that how you can make your money but most importantly you want to check out my course on dna immigration i went and dive deep down into this um training it's a video training self-paced course um like i said a lot of you that have taken this course i've left your review guys you want to go check out those reviews they are bomb people enjoyed it they learned a lot so i just want to quickly come here to see how far i can take you on this journey it is your girl coach e coming to you from maryland make sure you subscribe to my channel because like i said i will be coming here and here to give it to you to drop those gems on you all right guys dna is simply um testing for relationship i'm not gonna go into technicalities and all that i'm just gonna break it down make it simple because okay we'll have time we don't want to make things complicated okay so that's when people be testing for um relationships and all that great stuff so immigration and let's put the word immigration into dna testing because we've already been able to identify the dna is testing for relationship you want to see if two people are related right more than one person if they are related so immigration then is simply you testing immigrants the people that are not in america they want to relocate to america they could be coming from china asia europe wherever all parts of the world um we all are immigrants you already know your girl is an immigrant right what is the perfect day to talk about dna immigration putting on my african entire let me show you what it looks like y'all i love this beautiful dress my mom bought it for me and i'm showing out showing 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 off with this beautiful attire all right so let's get back to work so guys dna immigration so immigration simply people that are off site aka not in america they are in somewhere let's just use cameroon for an example and your mom is here somebody the petitioner so there's somebody has to petition for you petition meaning that it's your right right as a citizens we have a right as an american citizen you have a right the right to carry firearm the right to vote the freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom of all of those stuff so as part of the american law one of our rights is to petition meaning that we can petition for our families to come here so someone will petition for you the petitioner will petition for to bring in their families from overseas all right so in that case when they go to um for their interview you know how you go for your interview right you have a job you applied for a job then you go into the job they want to interview you to make sure you're qualified to make sure that you're competent to make sure that you're the right candidate it's the same concept it's the same thing so you're gonna go to the so the petitioner will petition for the beneficiary so the person that is benefiting from the benefiting from the petition is called the beneficiary so a and b guys put it somewhere a is the petitioner b is the beneficiary okay so the beneficiary will be invited to the um consular place that's the embassy aka the embassy for an interview once they go to the interview is to make sure that they have all of their paperwork that they are eligible to come to america that the petitioner is also eligible to petition for somebody to come so throughout that process it's a long process so but there is where we, you and i come in it's where we administer the dna immigration the reason why the embassy wants to make sure that the person is eligible is that you have to show a tie you can't just come into america america has laws and regulations and all that well we won't get into all that you can go ahead and find do your own little bit of research just to have an overview but speaking of dna immigration we're going to stay on point we're not going to go out of contents too much so when the person goes the consular is going to say to them hey i'm not really satisfied with this um maybe for example there are ways to prove relationship either through birth certificate which is the most common one but if the pet if the uh, if the consular the person that is giving the um interview if the person aka the consular is not content they're gonna ask that you go ahead and do a dna immigration so a dna test just to make sure that 
you are truly related to the petitioner so they come to you so on that day of um on that day of interview, that's nine out of ten times are the days, the time, the, the the beneficiary and the petitioner are looking for DNA immigration. That is why you need to put your business on the map because if you're not doing real and thorough marketing, they won't find you because no none of them knows if they will be getting the DNA immigration or not. So it sometimes some people are well prepared, but it's not common. So you want to make sure that you are available when these people are searching, you, they are looking and you're you're coming up on their feet. Like I said, if you take this course, I gave you all of that details, but I just want to come here to tell you that immigration DNA is a thing and you can make very good money by just opening your doors to DNA immigration. Like I said, there are so many, many, many services you can offer, but in within the DNA business, right immigration is one so you that's the reason that's the reason people be doing this dna immigration is because um the petitioner uh, and the beneficiary the petitioner has put in a petition the beneficiary has gone to the embassy for an interview and the consular has requested for more proof and more evidence and as a result once and that's the reason you and i before we can give this immigration um, test, we do have to be qualified. There is a certification that you do have to acquire, right? There is a training that you do have to show because anyone can't just say, oh, I'm giving the test. Even the lab that you're going to sign on, they need to make sure that you're competent. So you do have to take the accreditation certification. Like I said, all of these details is in my course. The course is only for $110. You want to check it out. Who tells a story better than the person that is going through the process? Like who else do you want to teach? Who else do you want to choose as your coach or as your trainer to give you those first hand information, right? I, like I said, my course is fully loaded. You can go check it out if you want to. All right. So that's the reason why we do DNA, especially the immigration. Now, when it comes to DNA, there are so many other um, services you can offer underneath the DNA. Like I said, in one of my live videos in the group, there is um, Ancestry DNA. I don't know if you guys know Ancestry um, DNA is an organization and all they do is only Ancestry. They don't do paternity or immigration. Like I said, all the niches in the DNA business has money and it's lucrative. So you want to pick your niche. You want to find your own rhythm. All right. If it's paternity, you're just catering to, there is money in that as well. You know, paternity could just be peace of mind or legal reasons. There's a lot of legal reasons people get DNA. Sometimes when a child is giving birth to, the parent is not there right the dad is not on the birth certificate but then because due to things or the other but then now the child is needing to go get a state id or is needing to go back to school or is needing to travel abroad needing to go on vacation or something and they need some sort of uh, official document to do all those things so therefore they will need a paternity test to establish that relationship so they can get their passport for example all right so there are so many reasons that that falls under legal but sometimes paterns um parents even grandparents wants to know if this child belongs to them those type of tests are peace of mind just for information purposes only okay so like i said you have to understand what you're doing if you don't have a proper knowledge if you don't have the better understanding you can't even wrap your head around this thing so you need to be educated you need to equip yourself with the right information that is why i have my platform where i I come and give you all these details and I share as as I go. So that's the reason why you want to subscribe because again, you will be in the know when I drop those videos and you can listen, you can watch and get you free education, free knowledge right there on your lap. All right, guys. So AABB accreditation, you have to go through that as a process, even as a business. Like I said, oh, let's go back. Ancestry is one niche. There is another niche right there that is also doing very well. That's the non-invasive pregnancy test. Like I said, a, a, someone looking for the non-invasive pregnancy test would rather pay you $2,000 than to be locked up in child support. People are ready to pay. People are ready to pay you. Like, I don't know, put yourself in those shoes. Like if you have something that you truly need, like if you're looking for answer to something, I bet you don't even mind the cost at that time. So again, it's not the cost. It's a matter of you being available 
putting your what they have in a very good package and sophistication to your brand that's all marketing is all about i hope i will see you on the other side like i said join me in my facebook group and in my next coming videos i'm going to be giving you guys some tips on marketing so again make sure you subscribe i don't want this video to be too long all right so i hope you subscribe and if you have any questions you can definitely find me and reach me on 301 8831047. I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Bye for now.